Hi, I'm Grim, and welcome back to Man vs. Film. It's another Netflix original movie time, and this time it is Handsome, a Netflix murder mystery. The brief outline is about this ageing cop called Handsome, which leads to all kind of hilarious jokes like, Hey, Handsome, and uh, I'm going to leave this to Handsome over there, and kind of things of that ilk. And he is called into a murder that has happened in his neighbourhood. A house down the street has got a body dumped in the front of him and it's up to him to solve this mystery and bump into all these quirky and strange characters that he's going to meet throughout this mystery. I had a lot of problems with Handsome and Netflix murder mystery. The first one I'm going to pick on is the one of the title. The movie is actually called Handsome and Netflix murder mystery which is very strange because the opening shot of the movie is an actor who pops up on screen, introduces himself and says, hey, I'm playing this character, the murder of tonight's movie. And that takes the mystery away because we know this person is going to be the killer. Then we have a sort of self-referential element all the way through the movie. At one point, Handsome is talking to somebody and they came out and they're like, ah, it's not a very strong start to the movie, is it? And he says, oh, it's going to get better, it will. So it kind of draws you out of the movie so there could be no dramatic license or dramatic sense within the movie itself because they're referencing the fact that they're in a movie and nothing's really real. Then you have this strange twist of the female character. So there's sort of three main female characters in the movie. There is the new next door neighbour who has two kids and is a divorcee mother. You have his lieutenant and you have his partner who is the third sort of main female character and these women are sex mad. It's a strange indictment on just sexuality in movies completely. You have his partner who, without investigating this crime, decides that she's just going to jump on this guy who could possibly be the murderer. Although we know for the start that it's not, but it could possibly be. And even though this is a person of interest, she continues to have relations with him all the way through the movie. The neighbour well, seems to pretty much jump at any guy that kind of looks her way. And with the exception of Handsome himself. And then you have his lieutenant who is an overly aggressive sexual predator in the workplace. And you've got to wonder, where is the other female characters? No, the ones that aren't sex mad, the ones that are just regular people. The movie doesn't portray them at all. And finally, the last thing that really kind of bugs me about this movie is it relies a lot on its humour which falls terribly flat. It really doesn't land. There's a couple of lines that made me smirk. I never laughed. I didn't think it was clever. The movie certainly thinks it's clever or certainly thinks it's being uh, quirky or different and unfortunately it just fails miserably. There was something about it, something that kept my interest, something that sparked something in me to keep watching and I'm not sure what it was. It may be the lead character of Handsome himself. I kind of liked them a little bit. I liked the setup. I didn't really like much of the other characters or the mystery they were trying to solve because I already knew the answer to it before the movie began. It also feels like the start to a TV series. You feel that it's just going to go into the next episode after this. There's an epilogue at the end of it. It has a title at the start of this episode, movie, whatever you want to call it. I've got a funny feeling that Netflix are going to unleash a bundle of these and I may, if I'm feeling very masochistic, go and give the second one a try. But if it's as poor as this, that could be it for me. I gave Handsome one and a half out of five. There was some moments that uh, kept me interested and wanted to see where it was going to go, but the majority of the movie just kind of made me a little bit angry. Did you watch Handsome? Have you seen it? Let me know in the comment box below, and I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.